Burton Township. Burton Township comes in with a big man, man number 16 in the middle. He's going to jump the ball against Chris Caruso. Out on the court, Caruso, number 20. Tyler Ray, number 5. Ryan Machuga, number 4. Kyle Kepler. And number 3, Sam Stackhouse. And a lot of loud, loud, enthusiastic cheerleaders. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials are ready. Four eight minute quarters. And the middle school scholastic rules. The opening tip, controlled by Harding. Stackhouse digs in on D. The guard for Harding doesn't have anywhere to go. Picks it out for number 12. Swing the ball around. Number 23 is open, Stackhouse gets over on him. Kepler out on the perimeter as well. There's a turnover by Harding. Chris Caruso one down the Stackhouse with pressure in the backcourt by number 23. 7.35 to go, Stackhouse drives hard. Picks it out to Caruso, Caruso makes a move to the left. This is the layup, offensive board by Weir. Weir misses the shot, comes down to number 15. Three men press in the backcourt, 20. Harding gets around. Stackhouse with a reach in, he'll get called for the personal foul. First personal foul, first team foul. Harding goes to the line for two shots, number 12. Bends his knees. First one's off the back of the rim and in. One nothing Harding. <coughs> As the announcer clears his throat. Second shot rattles around, doesn't go down. Caruso with the Finds a cutting Machuga. Machuga can't handle it, but he does. Machuga loses the handle. He had a lane. He goes to the right hand. No good. Gets his offensive rebound. Tries to get it to rear, but turns it over. There's a breakaway with number 23. 23 can't get connect on the shot. Rebound to Russo. One up and hard and lead. 6.49 to go. Billy Lee cheers on Sammy from the adjacent bleachers. Stackhouse curls around. Stackhouse drives baseline. He steps on the line. Out of bounds. Big man had inside position. Took away the baseline. Stackhouse had nowhere to go but out of bounds. That wasn't a foul. He wasn't moving. It's good defense. Ball gets inside. The big man throws a shoulder into Caruso, picks up the offensive foul. That's the first foul on number 15, the first team foul for Harding. 6.23 to go in the first. Harding up, one zip. Backhouse with a pass to Caruso. Caruso drives. This is to Weir. Weir turns it over. Stolen back by Caruso. Caruso goes up strong. Big putback by Caruso. He earned it. 6.05 to go. 2 1. Wharton. A trap by Stackhouse. Stackhouse steals it. Kepler in on the trap. Stackhouse misses the layup. Stackhouse tries to draw the foul. Doesn't get the call. Misses the layup. There's a whistle. A timeout on the floor. The Harding coach pleads a case. What case he's pleading, we may never know. 5.52 to go, 2-1 Wharton, breaking the act. Harding has the ball with a 2-1 lead. 24 inbounds to 12. Back out, picks him up in the backcourt. Almost a steal, can't quite come up with it. Number 12 fishes inside the five. Five gets fouled on the play by 22, Chris Caruso. Second team foul on Wharton, first on Caruso. Caruso and Stackhouse each with one foul, 5.39 to go. Harding to the line for two shots. First one's no good. Weir and Caruso look to box out on a miss. Second 
Morgan shot. Up. Good backspin, nothing but net. Tied up at two, 5.39 to go. Stack has with the ball. Over to Machuga. Machuga with a short jumper. Off the mark. Number 15 with the rebound. Number five looks to run. Stackhouse steals it. Stackhouse running now the other end. He floats it up and over. It's off the mark. He gets his own rebound. Out to a wide open Kepler. Kepler can't knock down the three. Balls out of bounds on Harden. Wharton will inbound the ball. 2-2, 509 to go in the first. Wharton needs to hit a shot. There's an open jumper by Machuga. Machuga knocks it down. For a 4-2 lead, 504 to go. Stackhouse with three steals already early in the game. 23 drives, a nice move inside. Tyler Weir was fooled. Gives up the right-handed layup, 4-4, 452 to go. Stackhouse brings the ball up, out to Machuga. Machuga thinks about a shot. Dribbles in one step, kicks it back out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse launches from three. Wharton will take a 7-4 lead with 434 to go. There's a whistle on the play. Timeout on the floor. 431 to go. Wharton up 7-4. As the cheerleaders get ready to do their thing. Wow, what a thing. Bravo, bravo. Harding inbounds on the near sideline following the timeout with 430 to go. There's a three by Harding. That's off the back of the rim and in, 7-7, 4.22 to go. Harding answers Stackhouse call. Stackhouse pushes to Kepler, back out to Stackhouse. Takes it, flips it to Machuga. Can he really? Yes! Ryan Machuga knocks down another open jumper for a 9-7 lead. There's another turnover. Miscommunication by Harding. Hornets have it with four minutes to go in a two-point lead, 9-7. Game Ryan! Woo! Clear to stack half. Stackhouse goes right, and the Caruso back out to Stackhouse. He's open for a second, but not long, so he drives left, just as the Kepler. Matruga, Matruga goes left. Back to Stackhouse. Kepler has it. Over to Stackhouse. Over to Machuga. Machuga from the right side. A little move inside, rattles around and goes down. Ryan Matruga is feeling it. Six quick Quick points for Machuga, 11-7, 2.21 to go. We have a travel. Good defense by Kyle Kepler, forces a turnover. 11-7, three-point lead for the Hornets with 3.19 to go. Billy Reed cheers on Sam Stackhouse. Kepler has it. Back out to Stackhouse. Guarded by number 12, Stackhouse goes right. Over to Kepler. <laughs> Nice bounce pass into, oh, beautiful ball movement. Back pass to Caruso with a nice bounce pass to a cutting Tyler Weir. Weir delivers, 13-7, 2.49 to go. A steal by Caruso. Caruso running up the left side. Will he attack? No, he dishes out to Kepler over to Stackhouse from three. Stackhouse delivers. Off the feed from Kepler, Kepler with the assist. Made possible by the steal and the quick passing by Caruso. Number 15 shot doesn't go down. Caruso with the board. Stackhouse runs. Open to a wide open. Kepler. Kepler to Stackhouse. Stackhouse puts a little fake. Dice dished into Weir. Weir can't deliver. Rebound Harding. Oh, a steal by. Caruso, Caruso to Machuga, Machuga to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from three, nothing but net. Sam Stackhouse said to his father in warm-ups today that he was stealing it. Now he's showing it, and he's dealing it. 19-7, 151 to go. Rebound, Weir, Weir to Stackhouse. Stackhouse runs it down in the corner. Out to Machuga, back to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from three, nothing but net. Stackhouse again. 
22 to 7. Hornets on the run. Harding into the big man. He's bodied up by number 22. It could be a foul on Caruso. No, instead it's a personal foul. First personal on number 20, Kyler Weir. Weir, Stackhouse, and Caruso each with one personal foul. Three team fouls. Number 15 to the line for Harding. Ryan Cattell in at the scores table. 15 banks it in. Cattell into the game, giving Stackhouse a rest. That's why you practice. One twenty-four to go, twenty-two eight. Number fifteen sets. He shoots. Nice backspin, no good. Russo board. Patel has it. Patel running the point. Ryan Patel, seventh grader, brings energy to the team. There's a walk. That's a turnover. Ryan Machuga took a step in trying to attack the basket. Harding has the ball. 114 to go. There's a walk. Number three cannot hold his right foot. He drags it on the floor. And a move only Barishnikov could appreciate. Patel has it over half court. Drives right. Back to a cutting Kepler. Swings it to Machuga. Machuga has it back to Patel. Patel looking for a man to dish it to. He shoots the three, rattles around, doesn't go down. Rebound, comes down to Harding. Harding with the board, 33 seconds to go in the first quarter, 22-8. Number 12 with a floater, Ryan Cattell was there to interfere with it. Offensive rebound and a miss by 15. The subsequent rebound comes down to Chris Caruso. Chris Caruso and Ryan Machuga playing strong early in the game. Kepler's three is off the mark. Rebound. Rebound by Harding. It's going to be a personal foul on number five, Ryan Machuga. That's his first. Backhouse will check back into the game with 10 seconds. Kepler gets a blow. Harding has it. Tipped away by Cattell, stolen by Caruso. Stackhouse, Stackhouse lays it in, but after the buzzer. Excellent defense by Caruso and Cattell. At the end of one, as the cheerleaders get ready to take the floor, led by their fearless leader. Where's our mascot? 22 to eight. Hornets have the ball to start the second. Cattell inbounds on the near sideline. Backhouse directs traffic over Machuga to Cattell. Backhouse curls around. Pump fakes, goes left, back to Cattell. Cattell takes it into two men, feeds rear. Rear to Machuga. Machuga with a little jumper off the front of the rim. He attacks and gets his offensive rebound. Ryan Machuga playing hard, playing strong, playing with heart. Backhouse, this floater gets rejected, out of bounds. Hornets have the ball. 7.21 to go in the half. 22-8, Hornets lead. Stackhouse is open, he goes left, floats it up, and in. He set him up with the three pointers, now they're kicking out on him and he just drives in and floats it. 7.10 to go, 24 to eight. Stackhouse almost steals it, Cattell does. Cattell goes left. Hornets had numbers, Harding gets back. 
Machuga out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse goes right, then left, out to Machuga. Machuga with a little floater. Machuga delivers, Ryan Machuga. Good ball movement by the Hornets. They share the wealth. And strike a rich, Stackhouse with the steal. Goes to the left, floats it up and in. 28 to eight. Hornets out to a 20 point lead with six and a half minutes to go. The Hornets cut their teeth against top notch competition in the first three games against Dover and the mighty Wayne Patterson, against Ridgedale and the Morris Magic, the premier AAU team, number three division two team in the state with Adam Matola and Brian Monahan. And then against the Thomas Crown Affair. And they lose all three games, but what they took away from those three games was invaluable. Look at those cheerleaders go, they are pumped up. The atmosphere is electric here at McKinnon Gym. Derek Coley is in the house. The Hornets take the floor following the Harding timeout. Harding's a little shell-shocked. They come in with the biggest man on the court, but are unable to take advantage of the speed, quickness, and unselfish play of the Wharton Hornets. Exhibiting teamwork, Stackhouse and Kepler trap. A steal by Weir. Weir out to Caruso. Caruso goes left again. He has a lane. Big man takes it away, so he kicks it back out. Little pitch and catch. Stackhouse has it. Pachuga goes right. A nice little right hand. It rattles around, doesn't go down. Ken Caruso comes down with a big offensive rebound. He takes a step as he turns to kick it out, but no complaints here. Here's Caruso came to play today. He says, I don't care if you got three inches on me, I'm gonna kick your butt. There's another steal in there. Caruso. Caruso with a strong move inside. There's a jump ball. He ties up Harding. The possession arrow, however, favors Harding. They call a travel. Number 12 gets the ball in the inbound. Stackhouse is on him like flies on. Beep. This is a G rated. This is a G-rated broadcast, so we had to keep that out. 28-8, 5.37 to go. Stackhouse, another floater off the mark, 15 with the board. Mrs. Stackhouse complains as if he's supposed to shoot 100%, but the tenacious backcourt press forces Harding into a turnover with 5.24 to go. We are inbounds to Stackhouse. Over to Machuga. Machuga goes left, switches to the right. Shot is short, but almost saved by Caruso. Harding comes up with it. Can Harding handle the backcourt press? They can't. Stackhouse with the steal. Floats it. No. Harding with the rebound. Oh, oh. Stackhouse with the foolish foul. Getting overly aggressive. That's his second personal. The only thing that can hurt him now is foul trouble. That's a second personal on Stackhouse. There's a three by 23. It's an air ball. Another rebound by Caruso. Tyler Weir is running the floor and is unprepared for the pass. Hornet's a little sloppy. Stackhouse gets his hand in there. There's going to be a foul. Got his hand there, tipped it away. That's going to be a second personal on Ryan Machuga. Machuga and Stackhouse are two fouls of peace. Cannot afford to pick up a third foul in the first half with 4.37 to go and a 20 point lead. And they don't want to give Harding any pulse, any sign of life. First free throw is good, 28 to 9. Taylor Bethune checks into the game. A big round of applause for Caruso, who's playing huge in the middle with steals and rebounds. 
Second shot's up. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Kayla Bethune tried to come up with a rebound, went off his hands and out of bounds. That'll be parting ball. 4.35 to go. There's a little jumper off the mark. Harding gets it back. There's a... Harding has the ball. Stolen by Machuga. Machuga takes it right. No need to rush a shot. Move the ball around. Find an open shot. As they've been doing to attain the 19 point lead. Stackhouse goes right. Gets it in the weir. Weir's got to catch that. He floats it up and over. Rattles around. Doesn't go down. Harding with the rebound. Four to go. 28-9. Stackhouse can't draw the foul, but just his mere presence creates havoc. As Harding misses the shot, and Wharton comes down with the rebound. Stackhouse has it. Stackhouse goes right then left. Machuga's open. Machuga has a move. Machuga backs it in. Machuga with about 10 points in the game. There's a backcourt violation, an ill-advised pass by Harding Township. They seem a little bit rattled, trailing 30 to nine with 3.31 to go in the half. Sam Stackhouse feeling inspired by the Wharton cheerleaders. He floats it up, rattles around, doesn't go down. Bethune, Caleb Bethune fighting for the rebound. Number 12, floats it up and over. 30 to 11. Stackhouse has it, over to Machuga. Machuga is coming up big in this game. An ill-advised shot there. Machuga can't afford to pick up a third personal. He needs to be careful. He's been playing big, scoring a lot of points. They need it. A rushed shot and a rebound by Kepler off the miss by Harding. Stackhouse has it. He pops a three. He drains a three. Can it be? Sam Stackhouse, will he save any for Hope Pat Kong tonight? We shall see. 33 to 11. The Hornets just need to stay out of foul trouble with a 33 to 11 lead. Harding moves the ball around. 24 with the floater. Doesn't go down. Offensive board. Another miss. Caleb Bethune playing hard. Caleb Bethune says, I want more minutes, coach. And this is how I'm going to do it. Harding has it. 209 to go. Stackhouse with another steal. He's going to go in for the layup. He does. Goes up strong. 35 to 11. Almost another steal. Harding gets it back. Having trouble. Their guards handling the pressure. There's a travel in the play. 15. Fif number 15 thought he was going to the school dance. Sam Stackhouse with a pass to Patel. Patel drives baseline. A beautiful feed to Caleb Bethune. His shot's just a little bit short. But that was good ball movement. Resulted in a good shot. Another steal by Stackhouse. He goes hard. A feed to Cattell. Cattell converts. That's the way you play the game, boys. That's the way you play the game. Stackhouse to Cattell. Cattell runs the floor. Nice layup by number 12. 37-13. We get back to Ryan Cattell. Ryan Cattell runs the floor hard with Stackhouse. And he gets rewarded with the easy layup. Timeout on the floor. 101 to go, 37 to 13. The Hornets dominating the first half. Get ready, get ready. Stackhouse has it. This is to Bethune. Bethune with a little, little fallback jumper is a little short. It's gonna be a turnover. Ooh, do a little dance. Make a little love, get down tonight. Stackhouse doesn't want to pick up a third foul. 
40 seconds to go in the half. A block by Machuga. Machuga gets the block. There is a personal foul. That's the second personal foul on Chris Caruso, number 22. Caruso, Machuga, and Stackhouse all have two fouls. With 36 seconds, they don't want to pick up anything silly. Two shots for number 15, 36 seconds, 37, 13. First free throw rattles around, does not go down. Second one rattles around, that doesn't go down. There's a fight for the ball. Platoon comes up with it, gets it out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse surveys the defense. It's a move, finds an open Cattell. Cattell takes it left, goes to a left hand, rattles around, doesn't go down. Number 15 with the board. Almost a travel. Stackhouse and Machuga back on defense. Rebound Stackhouse. 14 seconds. Hornets will set up for a final shot. Stackhouse drives, floats it up, it's short. Five seconds, Cattell back on D. Good hustle by Cattell and Caruso. Caruso blocks the last pitch attempt for a shot. Stackhouse is down on the floor. He's, he's limping a little bit, but he's also smiling. Here at halftime, the Hornets with a 37-13 lead versus Harding. As we go to break, set to start the second half as the cheerleaders burst into a chant of we will rock you. Something, Stackhouse has it. 37-13. Stackhouse and Kepler exchange a little hug there. Stackhouse thinks about a three, considers otherwise. Pass in the weir. Weir's bounce pass, deflects. Russo comes up with it. Second violation on the Hornets. 731 to go in the third. It seems to me, ladies, that they already did rock them. Stackhouse goes for the steal, tips it out of bounds. He does. He forces a turnover. Stackhouse surveys. Whistles the pass in the Caruso, and Chris Caruso knows what to do with that. Chris Caruso playing a strong game, confident on both ends of the floor. Chris Caruso gets out on the defense, stolen. Stolen by Kepler. Back out to Caruso, over to Stackhouse. Out to Kepler, over to Stackhouse. Kepler drives up the middle, he floats it up. Rattles around, this go down, offensive board by Weir. Weir with the putback. Tyler Weir in good position. 41-13. There's a three-pointer for Harding off the mark. Bounces high in the air. Number 15 with the rebound. Chris Caruso might have got him on the arm. Wait for the call. Yes, number 22. That'll be third personal on Chris Caruso. That's the first team foul of the second half. Caruso has three, Stackhouse with two, and Machuga with one. First free throw attempt is NBA, nothing but air. Second one is nothing but net. NBA, NBN. A paradox, if you will. Come on, Sam. Stackhouse with the ball, but to move. Feeds it to Kepler. Kepler's hungry. Stackhouse looks for an open man. Caruso bodies up. So he kicks it out to Machuga. Machuga pulls it back out. Again, with a big lead, no reason to rush shots. A nice little move by Machuga. Doesn't go down, but a big offensive board by Weir. Kyler Weir feeling his oats down low. 
Harding has the ball. As my gum gets hard and rancid. But yet there's no place to deposit it. A steal by Caruso! Chris Caruso plays the passing lane. Plays a little pitch and catch with Stackhouse. A little too hot on the tomato. A little hot potato. Turnover on the Hornets, but the Hornets sharing the ball, and that's always good to see. 24, off the mark. Almost banks it in, however. Pachuga with the rebound. Stackhouse takes it. Looks for an open teammate. He steps back. Can't pop the three. Stackhouse with a steal. He's going to take it to the hole. Instead, he dishes to Weir. Weir knocks it down. That's the way you do it, boys. That's the way you do it. 43-14. That's the big third personal on Stackhouse in and one. As this is Stackhouse goes in the tick. Ah, oh, Sam Stackhouse with an ill-advised comment to the referee. He draws the technical foul plus the personal foul. That'll be four fouls on Stackhouse. Cattell checks into the game. Forty-three to sixteen. The and one attempt is good. Forty-three to seventeen. Five oh nine. With a big lead, playing well, it's no time for the Hornets to get stupid. That's directed towards one individual in particular, whom I can call anything I want. As the announcer says, with his tongue firmly implanted in his cheek. Wait, what happened? I'm lost. Did you want us to say, you can do that? That would be good advice. Nor should you. I mean him, not you. 43-18, as number 12 shoots the technical fouls. Good free throw shooting by Harding. Ladies and gentlemen, no game is ever over till the final buzzer. The Hornets, Stackhouse on the bench with four fouls. Caruso with three, the two, the two need to continue to play hard. There's no reason to commit silly fouls. That'll be the fourth foul on Caruso as well. There's another layup. Before you know it, a lead can melt away. It's now 43 to 21. Not, as Lemony Snicket's would say, a series of unfortunate events. Kepler has it on the perimeter. He launches a three. The Hornets would be well advised to move the ball around, look for a good shot. Taylor Bethune comes into the game. As Caruso and Stackhouse go to the bench with four fouls apiece. There's a three-pointer for Harding off the mark. No one to contend with number 15 on the board, so he gets an offensive board and misses. Rear with the board, gets it to Cattell. Cattell with a nice pass inside to Caleb Bethune. It goes through his hands off his frontal lobe and into the Harding hands. A floater by number 12 is off the mark. Number 15 with the offensive board. Blocked by Caleb Bethune. Stolen by Kyler Weir. Weir to Kepler. Kepler gets fouled and goes to the line for two. With a 43-21 lead and 4-0-1 to go in the third. Kyle Kepler will shoot two. Oh, I'll put this up. Push it, Kyle. Push it. Kyle Kepler was a little off on the first hill. Set up for the second one. Jason Guerrano into the game, number 13. For the Hornets. Second shot by Kepler. Rattles around. Does not go down. Rebound. 
Harding, Harding has it, 23 with a wild shot. Offensive rebound, another miss. Kachuga with the rebound, Patel has it. Harding having trouble converting on the inside, even their big man. Patel drives hard, floats it up with the right hand, no good. A rebound by Kepler. Stolen away by Harding. Harding has numbers. Machuga back on D. Oh, Ryan Machuga goes for the block. Picks up his third personal foul. He might have got him with his body. It's hard to tell. It really doesn't matter. The only opinion that counts is the opinion of the man in the striped shirt. You're right. First one off the back of the rim and out. 43-21, 31 to go in the third. Morano, Machuga looked to box out on a miss. Second one, rattles around, doesn't go down. Offensive rebound by 15. The put back, cuts the, cuts the lead to 20. 3.24 to go. Hornets up by 20. Kepler into Burano. Burano! A little hard on the layup attempt. A little hard. Had a chance. 3.11 to go. Harding has the ball. Good defense by Caleb Bethune and Ryan Machuga. Rebound. Kepler. Kepler would be wise to pull it out and set something up. Machuga, no need to throw up a crazy shot. With a 20 point lead, the Hornets need to move the ball around, take time off the clock, and take what presents itself. As Stackhouse checks into the game to settle things down with four personal fouls, including a technical. Stackhouse's first technical foul in three years. Check that. He got one in the spring AAU season. Bethune pops. Taylor Bethune pops from the left pass mark on the free throw line for a 45 to 23 lead. Off the feed, I think from Stackhouse. Could be a turnover. That's a turnover. The ball was bounced off the sideline by Harding. Two thirty-one to go. Stackhouse looks to just settle things down. Stackhouse drives. He has an easy layup. While he looks to settle things down, you do have to take what the defense gives you. Defense gave you a layup, take the layup. 47-23. No fouls. Stackhouse with the steal. Nice pass to Brian Cattell. Cattell back out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse pump fakes, drives. Puts the bouncing into Burano. Burano's pass. Burano gets it. He keeps his head. But his outlet pass gets picked off. 155 to go in the third. 47-23. There's a three-pointer for Harding. No good. Rebound by number 15. He puts it back in. Offensive board and the putback. 47-25. Big John Burnell, number 14th, over to the scorer's table. Stackhouse drives. The left is wide open. He gets blocked. A uh, nice rebound by Barano to Bethune. Bethune is off the mark. Harding with the ball. 122 to go. Ryan Gattel with a block. A steal by Machuga. Stackhouse takes it. He sees Machuga down the left sideline. Machuga goes right, left hand. Back out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse finds Machuga. Machuga back out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives, floats it up and in! Stackhouse from the pistol paint area, floats it up and in. 49-25, no good. Stackhouse comes down with the rebound. Stackhouse with the layup, no good. Get it, Caleb! Caleb Fatum goes for the steal. Burano hustles back on D. Harding has it. Ryan Machuga gets a hand in the face. Rebound Bethune. Bethune to Stackhouse. Stackhouse is one on three. Be wise to pull it back out. He finds Cattell running the floor. Cattell walks for three. Ryan Cattell was an off balance. Awkward looking three, but he converts. 
52 to 25, 11 seconds. Third quarter, number 15, can't convert. Gets offensive board, puts it back in. Two seconds, one. Stack house to the clock run out at the end of three. 52 to 27. The atmosphere is electric. It's electric. I don't know how that song goes. Pause in the action as we get ready to go to period number four. Harding inbounds the ball on the near sideline. Stackhouse almost comes up with another steal. Harding has it in. They swing the ball around. Number 12 with the three. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Do so with the board. Stackhouse brings it up the left side. He goes right, he gets tripped. He gets tripped, there's no call. Stackhouse not feeling any love from the men in the striped suit. He gets tripped again. This time they do get a call. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> we need to remember the safety of the kids of, is of utmost importance out here. <laughs> Cannot let personal feelings intervene. Caruso inbounds. Stackhouse has it. <laughs> out to Kyle Turayla, number 12 into the game. Stackhouse feeds. John Burnell, John Burnell is just a little bit short. Nice smooth release. John Burnell has been working hard on that. Stackhouse doesn't want to pick up his last fifth personal foul. He tips it out of bounds. Harding has the ball. 52-27. Brian Cattell out on the perimeter. Stackhouse tips it away, forces a turnover. Cattell steals it, kicks it out to Stackhouse. He's open from three. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Seven minutes to go in the game. Pump fake by number three. Kicks it out to 12 for an open look. He knocks it down. 52 to 30. Harding trail. Stackhouse needs to settle down. Takes some time off the clock. Wait for an easy shot. Not one like that. That was a little crazy. We need to take good shots. 6.24 to go, 52 to 30. Almost a travel. He did kept, just barely kept his toe on the ground. There's another steal by Caruso. Stackhouse has it. He goes, he pulls up, tries to bank it in. Almost steals it back, 52 to 30. Another steal by Caruso. Stackhouse has it. Takes it over half court. Looks to get his teammates involved. Kyle Torila has it. Out to Brunel. Brunel to Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives, floats it with the right hand, and it rattles around and goes down. 54 to 30. 532 to go. Harding looks to work it inside. Big D by Caruso. Number 15 does convert for a 54 to 34 score. Should be 54 to 34. All you gotta do is put your mic to it. Buckle down, buckle down. Kyle Torila has it. All you gotta do is put your mic to it. Buckle down, buckle down. Caruso. Caruso gets fouled. Perhaps yours truly was wrong. The scoreboard reads 54 to 32. Stackhouse launches from three. Nothing but net. 57 to 32. Billy Reed shouts with joy as his bro picks up the personal foul. Four forty-eight to go in the game. Ryan Cron checks into the game. Fourth personal on Stackhouse. John Burnell with a tough D down low, deflected away by Kyler Weir. That and good aggressive defense on the interior by Ryan Cron forces a turnover. Yeah. Even with a 
big lead. Those that are getting opportunities to play are playing hard. That cast to Tarilet. Tarilet shoots from three. It's off the mark. Tyler Weir fights to steal that ball in the backcourt. He can't. Stackhouse doesn't want to foul out. Oh, a steal by Kyler Weir. He gets it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse looks for someone running the floor. No one there. So he pulls it back out. Dishes to Weir. Weir's open. Weir's shot is off. Rebound Hardy. 408 to go. They float it in. A little layup attempt is no good. 15 with the board. He misses. Kyler Weir comes up with a rebound. The Stackhouse. Stackhouse looks around. He finds a cutting Tarila. Tarila's shot is off. Rebound Harding. 345 to go. 57-32. Nice feed inside by Harding. Number five can't connect. A rebound by Tarila. Tarila gets it to Stackhouse with 332 to go. The commanding 57-32 lead. Stackhouse looks to get his teammates involved. He gets his shot blocked on the floater. There's a, oh, Kyler Weir with the block on the attempt of three. Stackhouse takes the pass from Cron. He pops a short jumper. Nothing but net. Nothing but net for Stackhouse. 59-32. Was that 58-32? My math skills elude me. Kyle Kepler will check back into the game with 2.59 to go. 59 to 32. There's a pause in the action. We resume action. There's a steal by Kyle Tarila with 2.45 to go. He gets it to Kepler over to Cron. Cron takes it left. His pass intended for Tarila gets picked off. However, the ball's out of bounds. Off of the Hornets, Harding has possession. 2.36 to go. There's a steal in there, tipped away by Tarila, stolen by Bernal, but Bernal's pass is errant. Bernal bodies up on D, gets his hands up, but it's a nice shot by Harding. 59 to 34. Ryler goes right, he has a layup, but nope, the defender gets back. Bernal launches from three, it's a little bit short. A nice save by Kyler Weir. Ryan Kwan comes up with it. He kicks it out, he tries to get it to Bernal. John Bernal, John Bernal picks up the personal foul, but I don't care. John Bernal says, you're not getting a layup on me, big boy. Chuga checks back to the scores table with Jason Baran, Jason Barano. First foul shot is no good. 157 to go in the game. Guerano, Machuga, Bethune back into the game. As Bernal, Tarila, and Weir take a rest. The outcome of the game is not in doubt. Free throw attempt is off the mark. Rebound comes down to Burano. Good hustle by Burano. Taylor Bethune gets it to Kepler. Kepler to Cron over to Machuga. Ryan Machuga goes right. Big man's in front of him, so he goes left. The shot is off the mark. He fights for the rebound. He gets the ball and is tied up immediately. Possession arrow favors Harding. Kepler gets, get it, Kep, get it, gets Kep, the ball get stolen away. But Harding dribbles it off the leg with 120 to go and a 59 to 34 deficit. Timeout on the floor. 59-34. Kepler brings the ball up. Goes left. Looks for an open man. He finds him shooting. 105 to go. Ron 
takes it on the perimeter. Kicks it out to Kepler. Cornish just moves the ball around. Matuga with a move inside. Shot is off. Offensive board, Verano. Out to Kepler. Over to Kron. Kron beat up on the perimeter. Looking for a screen. He doesn't get it. Kepler still has it. Goes behind the back. Has a lane up the middle. And he gets fouled. He drives hard to the basket. He'll get rewarded with two shots from the free throw line. As he looks to crack the 60 point barrier with 34 seconds. 34 seconds, 34 points for Harding. If you're playing the lottery tonight, keep that in mind. Kepler's shot rattles around, doesn't go down. As Sam Stackhouse passes the frame as if to say, I'm sorry I said that to you, Mr. Official. You got that technical foul. Second one rattles around. 60 to 34. If the Wharton defense were turned around, they would have had an easy steal there. Instead, a couple missed shots, a couple offensive rebounds. There's a fight for the ball. Kepler comes up with it and he gets fouled. Good hustle by Kyle Kepler. Fouls on the side, 19 seconds. Tick. 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 14 seconds. Tick. 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 10 seconds. Five. Ryan Machuga will dribble the ball out. And the first one of the season for the Wharton Hornets. The Wharton Hornets. Finally notched the victory column with a 60 to 34 victory over Hornets. Players, they can. Stay tuned for the second game of the Wharton Hornets doubleheader. As tonight at 7:45, the Hornets travel basketball team will meet the Hopatong Chiefs. This is Glenn Stackhouse reporting. We're going to see if it's back up.